सत्यकाल नमस्ते गुड इवनिंग अस्सलाम वालेकुम टू माय ऑडियंस मैं एक दफा फिर आपके सामने हाजिर हूं एक गेस्ट के साथ जिनका नाम है सुरप्रीत अरोड़ा एंड ही इज अ ग्रेट इंस्पिरेशनल स्पीकर एंड ही इज अ ब्लॉगर एज वेल एज फिटनेस मॉडल राइटर ट्रेनिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड number of things and i like people who go around and do lot of things and experiment with lot of things and i'm really inspired by that and i like to introduce to my guest uh, about uh, supri what lambi list hai unke uh, uh, accords ki like unhone kya but i will request actually uh, supri to introduce uh, so supri welcome to show uh my na- show's name is exploration with kapil chavla and today we have a guest supreet arora so show's name is exploration with kapil chavla and preet arora so welcome supreet thank you very much sir for having me here and for that wonderful introduction uh supreet hamare guests ko apne bare mein aur batao aur Uh, मैं जो जो गेस्ट uh, ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं उनको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि अपने अपने टाइमलाइन uh, पे ये शेयर कर दे शेयर का बटन आ गया होगा सो दे कैन शेयर ऑन देयर टाइम ऑन देयर वॉल्स सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल ज्वाइन अस बिकॉज वी हैव टुडे अ वेरी वंडरफुल गेस्ट सुरप्रीत और आई एम रियली इंस्पायर्ड बाई हिम एंड वी वॉन्ट मोर इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम सुरप्रीत और सो सुरप्रीत पहले तो इंट्रोडक्शन दो अपना और बताओ अपने बारे में thank you kapil sir uh, uh, as far as my introduction is concerned i am a public speaker corporate trainer in education sector presently and a blogger so i am in the process of writing my first book on self improvement and personality development and i presently write wow. blogs for uh, three websites as a panel blogger and author and i have also written blogs for uh, websites of delhi university and some training companies on different topics of positivity and i have a passion for bodybuilding and fitness i am a regular uh, uh, follower of bodybuilding i do a lot of gymming every day and i transform my body from 120 kg to 65 kg in 2015 wow. and uh, that's almost 50% loss yes and during my career i have served different sectors starting from banking then telecom then e-commerce and then education sector and my total work experience is 14 years out of which i have served as a bank private banker for close to 10 years and uh, apart from this i have recently commenced a website motivationsparkles.com and we are only into blog right now so our blog niche is self improvement and personality development and i have a team of authors and bloggers who writes and we we actually write on uh, this particular niche so we are having different topics aur hum uske upar bahut sare blogs likhte hain and uh, motivation uh, spark uh, yes uh that's great uh, supreet i will come to the, all this uh, because i i have lot of things to discuss with you but let, let's start yeah. uh, discussing uh, one point at a time like i'm really sure. impressed uh, when you say that uh, you have reduced from 120 kg to 65 i think obesity is one of the main uh, at academics aajkal bahut zyada issue hai obesity ka so uske bare mein ye challenge ke bare mein thoda batao ki ye kaise aapne is challenge ko overcome kiya what was the motivation behind it? okay let me start by saying that uh, i have tried more than 15 times before i done this transformation and i firmly believe that jo transformation hota hai aapka the transformation starts from your mind and when we are thinking about body transformation there are a lot of challenges which comes in your way and you have to walk on some untrodden path एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली जब आप किसी भी चीज के बारे में कुछ करने के लिए सोचते हो तो आपको बहुत सारे गट्स चाहिए होते हैं 
and uh, i did this transformation after my marriage and it was very challenging i have a kid also i have a daughter also uh, 6 years old and uh, uh us waqt wo i think kareeban 2 uh, saal ki thi and uh, you know in a private job it's very difficult to manage your time schedule so uh, after failing 15 times i finally decided ki you know it's it's enough now it's enough i have to do something which is under my control and that is following my diet so i started with the reading i read lot of blogs related to health positivity i started uh, you know following like minded people i watched lot of youtube videos on fitness diet self improvement i watched lot of i used to watch lot of motivation speakers and get inspiration so uh, you know this way i started myself and ek bar jab maine start kara uske baad bahut sari cheeze explore kari maine wo exploration mein bahut sari cheeze aayi for example if i wanted to share is that usme ek to sabse pehle aaya ki aap jab body transformation kar rahe ho to aapka mind aapka bahut zyada role play karta hai your mind plays a big role when you are uh, talking about your transformation so it was something uh, i can say that uh, not only i did my body transformation from outside i did transformation from inside so i'm completely changed as a person also and uh, we can talk about uh, i mean we can talk more on this for sure uh i'll talk to that or do because i'm coming to that part uh where you have inspired yourself as well now you are inspiring other people because i think uh, it, it takes step by step in like yourself like what you said like you changed from within like you know you didn't only body transformation nahi kiya apna mind transformation bhi kiya aapne so uh, that actually helps inspiring other people so uh usse pehle lekin i'll come to that part but uh i see that you are a trainer as well like you do uh, you are a corporate trainer uh, soft skill trainer uske bare mein thoda batao okay so as i said i started my journey as uh, as a banking executive i was into sales and marketing job in fact uh, i have been involved in uh, different uh, job roles starting from credit card marketing and retail banking branch banking corporate sales uh, high net worth uh, individual uh, uh, selling and then uh, private equity portfolio management i have done all these things uh, these are our uh, div- different divisions of banking sector after uh, serving close to 10 years to banking i somehow was uh, under the you know mindset ki mere ko lagta tha ki somehow you know i am not long term built up for this mujhe kuch aur karna chahiye and uh, uh, one fine day i was going through some uh, uh, you know youtube uh, video and uh, suddenly it struck my mind and why not training aur uh, shuru se hi main logo se relationship building mein aur rapport building mein bahut acha raha hu and that's one of the main key strengths in my job also which has really helped me to grow then i finally decided that i should uh, be working as a trainer a life coach and uh, that's how this thought got generated and after that i never look back i did some certifications related to training and more importantly i was trying to seek a job as a trainer and finally i got one and then the, there was no look back so that's how i got started and presently i'm uh, attending lot of workshops seminars related to training it's always better to keep yourself updated with the latest industry sales skill sets and interact and network with lot of people who are in the same fraternity yeah i think uh, you uh, we have a lot of thing common with each other and uh, i believe you sick and i am also sick and the sick meaning of sick is perpetual learner like i uh, like 
I I am like born Hindu, but then I call myself as that I am a Sikh by work or by actions. I am a Sikh. So I like uh, what you said. Ki you workshops and keep on updating yourself, which is very important. Ah, uh, as a training ke baad, like uh, I see, like you are also a writer, and then from that you are blogging. And your other passion, which I, I am really inspired by, came up. But yes. tell us something about your passion on writing, and then we'll come to your blogging and the inspirational part. Okay, so uh, writing started actually like five years back. I guess it was in 2011 and 12. There was an application called Letters. It's still there. So Letters, I started using and I started writing. and uh, there was a time of depression in my life around uh, in around 2012 when i went to dubai and due to some reasons i came back and uh, that time i was completely disheartened i was very depressed i was thinking that you know it's all over for me and uh, then this dark side uh, you know came into the picture in my life and i suddenly was like lost i was lost and i was trying to explore myself i wanted to come back from that situation you know it happens with a lot of people in their life that they fell down from inside outside everything is normal they fell down from inside and then they try to recover wo wapas aana chahte hain apni us life mein they don't want to feel negative they don't want to feel you know uh, sad they wanted to come back so i wanted to make a comeback and i knew there are some things supreet has to do supreet you cannot ignore it i wanted to make that comeback and that's how this uh, sherry came into the picture sherry took the birth that time and that powerful soul that powerful uh, spark inside me you know it it, it got strike that time and uh, i started writing i started jotting down my feelings and after doing a bit of writing i explored that i can write well and i started posting my small quotes within 160 characters and i started exploring how other people are writing i follow a lot of people in the industry so i started with quote writing initially and i have written more than 5000 quotes on twitter on my personal profile which is at the rate of sherry remarks so that's my twitter handle i have written more than 5000 quotes as of now and uh, that's how this journey began and then gradually i moved to letters application and i started posting my memoirs blogs uh, within 150 to 250 words and after that i created my facebook page because uh, facebook then was very prominent and uh, from there i took the take off and then there was no look back and uh, now i am uh, blogging also in fact i am in the process of writing my own book i have uh, already completed half of the manuscript for my book uh, which will be on uh, my life self improvement topics personality development and some wonderful stories which i would like to present uh, to this uh, wonderful world and some people who really were who really are seeking some inspiration from practicalities of life very very practical so that's where i'm coming from that's really great like uh, it gives me opportunity to ask lot of questions but i'll just ask uh, my viewers and your viewers as well and you as well like uh, please share this uh, broadcast on your timeline uh, so that more and people get inspired by supreet uh, uh, you have given us a very good thing of like didn't use a very hard word uh, that is known as depression like lot of pas go under depression and uh, i have been there myself so we go uh, in uh, and we find uh, various other ways to come out of depression like people have uh, done lot of people do go to negative aspects of life as well to come out of a depression but your way of coming out was writing and you really now uh, you have become a professional out of it uh, just writing uh, skills and now you do blogging and that's the most important part i was 
uh, coming to is like I am really inspired uh, by the blogging work you do. Uh, you run a blog website and a group and a page called uh, Motivational Sparkle. So uh, tell us about that. Uh, what do you do at uh, Motivational Sparkles? Okay. Thank you very much, first of all, for appreciating my work. Motivation Sparkles journey began, uh, again, it, it started like five years back, I guess. It's the same time when I was I was going through some uh, turbulent times. And uh, I started a WhatsApp group. WhatsApp was uh, very, uh, very uncommon th those days. And I, you know, invited a few people to join this group. And I saw there was a lot of... Uh, flow of messages which has related to inspiration and since I myself was inclined towards watching a lot of motivation videos and remembering a lot of content in fact I never kept myself limited to only watching I started applying those things I started applying affirmations I started applying gratitude techniques I started applying law of attraction I started applying a lot of positivity around within myself and I've started feeling it myself and that's where the real transformation started happening so I gathered a lot of people on whatsapp group and then uh, people started liking the work and now today on Facebook we have around 36,000 members on Facebook group community. And apart from that, on WhatsApp group, there are close to 1,200 to 1,300 members. And I have different uh, co-group admin administrators who are managing the groups. So, when you are passionate about something, and you are serious about your problem, and you are focused on the solution, you get a path in life. And that path has been very important in life. Minded people, and in India, there are a lot of people who have seen similar times, but they are seeking the right platform, they are seeking the right people. So, I can say that this platform has given birth to those people who are similar in their way of thinking, their way of managing life, and uh, they have come back in their life. I have connected with a lot of people. Wow, uh, that's really like, uh, like uh, you. Uh, it's not that you have brought yourself out of the uh, depression, but then you have used uh, your skill to motivate other people. Like, and you have developed, uh, which are new. Like, these are the new age economy skills, like uh, using WhatsApp or Facebook groups. Uh, I think we are out of, uh, I'm not saying like we are completely out of it, but uh, we are out of the old uh, economy, like where the books uh, were the in thing, but now we are into new technology, uh, digital technology like uh, WhatsApp or Facebook or social media, YouTube. And where it's like it's your, uh, anyone can uh, do videos or you can motivate other or teach other uh, which you have done like you, you are doing it yourself so you know it's not that difficult uh, what what has been your challenges so far in uh, motivational parkers or blogging webs uh, kind of uh, stuff what you do what have been your challenges so far and how you have come out of it talking about challenges uh, whatsapp group I have seen that people they don't understand the group guidelines well. They start sharing some obnoxious stuff which is not related to the theme of the group. So, uh, you know, keeping that challenge and observing for some time, I created a document related to motivation sparkle guidelines. So, whenever a new member join in the group, I share that guideline. Apart from that, talking about the website. Uh, well, there are a few challenges because uh, everything you are doing today, it is all linked to SEO. SEO full form is search engine optimization. It has directly linked with uh, what you search on Google search engine. 
Uh, we have other uh, search engines as well, but uh, primarily everybody uses Google. So in Google search engine, whenever you search any content uh, on the first page, if it's reflecting uh, tendency is that uh, as a person, you go and search the content and it should come on the first page and then the chances of clicking are very high when it is coming on the first page. So I think when uh, my authors or uh, probably myself also write a lot of things, it's slightly difficult uh, because you know SEO is a very, very technical thing and it's very tricky also. And uh, this itself is a very big industry now. In fact, there are a lot of digital marketers and SEO experts in the market who charge a good amount of money to make sure that whatever you're writing, irrespective of uh, model quality or not, they make sure that you know your content will be reflecting on the first page of the Google. So that way is you get a lot of people uh, in the form of uh, visitors and uh, they read on, they click on those uh, links or the blogs which you have mentioned, they read and that's how you grow. You grow as a community. So I think this is one of the challenge which I'm facing right now. So we are in the process of overcoming this challenge. And apart from that, uh, more or less, as I said, on the Facebook group also, uh, everybody has his own interest. And, uh, you know, there is an option on Facebook group about. So without reading that, people start sharing about different topics uh, without even realizing that this group is only for inspirational sharings and motivation sharings. Uh, somebody is sharing about diet, somebody is sharing about, you know, his girlfriend, somebody is sharing about some news and interviews. So I think uh, that's where the challenges are there. But yes, of course, if challenges are there, it's uh, very helpful for me as a person to learn and grow. So I take it positively. Uh, uh, Sufid, I have similar challenges. Come back to that, but I see this video is not shared on your so uh, this is a reminder to my uh, viewers as well to you please this video at least on your personal timeline as well back to i'm having similar challenge uh, with my i i'm i was uh, watch up uh, but i had the same challenge like i uh, get all kinds of messages and i don't get it that uh, channels because anyone can create any post on it it uh, to uh, a not get kind had a group of um, a whole uh, there was a group and one of our members Nagar who is uh, just uh, this video like he was part of that group and we after some time, it become, becomes very annoying to get messages on the group. People really don't. I think that's a, a choice uh, people make of like themselves. That like the hard word. I like they just unnecessarily. Post. If you want to post, and I and you want to post, it's better their timeline. Uh, if they have something to say, higher. The timeline is best option, and if you want to get about some subject, it is uh, quite passionate people. So he started up with three people. So uh, I think uh, three three six thousand people. So because he has something to tell, so that's why joining uh, this group. Uh, but I know, like uh, you can't change uh, 36,000 people and it takes time to people to understand uh, the philosophy of the group. Uh, and uh, what's your next blogging site as well uh, related? So what plans like in terms of uh, blogging? Like, uh, hello? Yes, I think uh, the voice is uh, blurring and the screen is blurring and the voice is cracking also. Okay, so uh, to answer your first question, yes, to answer your first question, I think it's very important to understand one thing is that uh, 
whatever work you do you always seek some right audience and right audience comes from volumes you cannot just go in the market and try to find out who's the right audience for motivation or inspiration or self improvement uh, it's all the way people are uh, helping me add lot of people in fact uh, i always try to communicate on the messages through my blogs and uh, i have seen people supporting me in this it's not only me who is concerned who is fascinated about adding people so that the motivation or inspiration from different authors and speakers reach out to the world it's about people you know people want to help other people and that's how this movement got started so uh, talking about the wrong people out of 36000 members who are not willing to participate or join i think uh, if they are not keen to continue probably it's their choice they can uh, you know discontinue the group or they can start uh, unfollowing the group that's up to them that's their personal choice but i am very clear with my focus that i have to build up this community as one of the biggest community online and uh, i i am targeting at least 1 lakh members by this year end so that i can help lots and lots of people you know what when people share one post and the person who is in the negative mindset and that post is read by that person you know his life changes he gets inspired and who gets that benefit the person who has shared and more importantly ye bilkul waisi hi kaam karta hai kapil sir ki aap kisi ke paas nahi pahunch pa rahe lekin aapke acche words aapke acche thoughts kisi ke paas pahunch rahe uski soch badli aur uski soch badalne se uski life badal gayi aaj and i get a lot of compliments from people i get a lot of phone calls as well and this way i have created a lot of people who are my very very good friends now so uh, this is about uh, you know answering to your first question and uh, may i ask you what was the second question uh my second question was like what are you feelings about uh, this blogging uh, work uh, the blogging uh, blog uh, you have already uh, told me that uh, you want to make it to actually uh, support your goal like as you, you are doing a very inspiring work so more reach out to is very good and i fully endorse that statement when you say when you even if one person reads and uh, affects his day or his effect uh, uh, it, Uh, when you do this, comes back to you, uh, uh, back. So the, it worked for me because I uh, sometimes I was not mood or in depressed. I've read uh, from various people which have that is uh, uh, really for doing like inspiring people. So uh, yeah. we can go on on and on uh, uh, through pre you uh, if you have uh, we have discussed uh, today a very different top topics today if you have any particular topic particularly like uh, uh, with my audience because my quite la- large worldwide if you see arsan uh, uh, salam arsan uh, do is from, so from places uh, the dude a lady from so if you want to discuss any particular topic that's what i was inviting you or like if you want a topic do suggest and come, come to my show and we can explore that topic together all right fantastic so uh, first of all i would like to answer you about the upcoming plans okay as such yeah. uh, you know we are uh, inviting a lot of people who are beginning beginners in writing so this platform has been created keeping in mind that a lot of people who are looking for a platform who are looking for a social profile link 
on the internet they are invited from any part of this world and uh, i have a team of authors uh, who are from uh, south africa who are from us from canada from dubai and most of the authors are uh, veterans in the industry they have written blogs they have written articles for newspapers as well so it's a mix of the team there are beginners as well there are a couple of students as well who are studying but they write exceedingly well so these kind of kind of people uh, you know can uh, share some amazing messages some amazing observations and uh, people read and like and comment and then learn from them so a uh, lot of people who are seeking upon some platform to write i think uh, you're most you're most welcome and you are invited to write on motivationsparkles.com and uh, as of now we do not have any kind of a cost implementation so it's absolutely free you can uh, create your public profile uh, you will get a lot of exposure in terms of your writing uh, we have uh, social media coverage we have a lot of followers on facebook twitter instagram and uh, google plus so your post is uh, you know liked and read by a lot of people i mean these days the problem is that when you share a post you're sharing it on one platform so you need somebody to you know uh, reach out uh, to you know rightly publicize it to market it nicely probably uh, so uh, that work is done by the team i have another two people uh, okay let me introduce to you two two more people on motivation sparkles they are uh, co founders with me one is virendra singh now virendra is uh, cfa level 3 he is a certified uh, financial analyst uh, he is from dubai with the uh, a tremendous experience of around 10 years and uh, he's on board with me and he will be handling a lot of verticals uh, you know we have a lot of plans to launch different kind of our domains in this particular uh, uh, business apart from that uh, i have aditya aditya bhavsar now aditya bhavsar is a person he is very dynamic he is only 17 and he has authored a book at the age of 17 wow that must be giving goosebumps to a lot of people who are willing to writing and more importantly this guy is so dynamic that he has been conducting stage shows for last 3 4 years and uh, he is uh, he's a comedian and he is a motivational speaker he has been doing a lot of motivational workshops and you know what is the best part kapil sir uh, both these people connected with me through whatsapp group in fact viren knows me earlier also but uh, aditya aditya connected me through whatsapp and we connected and you know he's on the he's on the board right now he's a co-founder uh, and you know what is ironic is that we haven't met so far but we have so much of bonding hmm. we have so much of uh, good relationship uh, that you know whenever we talk we have we have been complimenting each other so nicely uh, so you know this is the beauty of uh, uh, carrying good relationships i can say or the power of social media and it's it's all in your hand how you use it some people are wasting their time some people are you know uh, getting dissipated so i'm not one of those person i use social media for my benefit for adding value to my life so this is about the team uh, uh, i as social media has been contributing a lot uh for example like i have met lot of wonderful people on social media especially person rehan allawala uh he i have never met him but like i have a great uh, he has a great fan following like his bar uh, got 7 uh, lakh uh, all over world so like i am great fan of his uh, he i uh, is uh, a real he runs a uh, to people who actually steal his friends from on the contest card of his friends he gives you a laptop so that's another unique way of uh, using social media so yeah like it's doing uh, like wonderful work if we
do it in the right sense in the positive sense uh Come okay la, it was uh, uh, there's a there's a viewer who is asking me some question hi sherry is it just yes, a casual uh, discussion or something is coming forward yeah yeah i was coming to that i have already uh, yeah. put it on the screen yeah so manish uh, uh thank you for asking that question i if other viewers also have question they can ask aur bhi jo log hain wo question puchna chahte hain to zarur mere guest se question puchiye sherry will be most willing to answer so his question is hi sherry is it just a casual discussion or something is going forward uh, sherry you answer this question first and then i'll answer in my particular way what i want to tell to manish and my viewers so go ahead and you answer that question first. okay mani sir uh, this is a uh, introduction kind of a session where uh, we are talking about motivation sparkles and uh, upcoming plans and more importantly it's about the journey i have lived so far so kapil sir has been taking lot of interviews with uh, people uh, not only from india but with the uh, people who are doing re really well and transforming and impacting lives around the world so he is the one person who is uh, you know interviewing a lot of these people and uh, you know we connected through facebook and uh, he was watching my work he was observing and that's how he connected with me and he said sherry why don't you come and uh, you know talk about yourself and talk about the things you are doing how did you got into motivation what made you write up uh, you know so nicely and uh, how did you transform your body etc so uh, then uh, after conclusion of that discussion we thought of doing this session and uh, because there are a lot of people who are looking for some basic information or they want somebody to come out on the screen who can speak well and you can tell about his personal life so that they also get inspired so i think it's it's more on uh, uh, more on to do you know, on this particular point uh, yes uh, sherry you have answered almost like what i wanted to answer like you have given away the answer 75% of the answer so my 25 percent bit is yes uh, what i do is like i uh, money i do this uh, program called exploration with kapil chawla uh, what i try to do is bring guests uh, from around the world who are connected to me through social media or uh, otherwise uh, my who are my friends and i try to bring out their story uh, who have been so far because everyone has something to share which inspires people so i have a lot of friends uh, on my uh, uh, like uh, facebook and linkedin so i i just invite them if i like their work i invite them and uh, join them okay he says okay i'll come back manish i'll come back to you so uh, what i do is i invite them i share their work with my network uh so that other people in my network get to know these gems these are like so for me supreet is a gem like he is hidden uh from my network at least like he I, he's got much greater uh fan following but there is some people who don't know him so i'm trying to introduce supreet and his work to uh people in my network like uh, let me share one example as well like i i met, recently met a lawyer like who is who would be like uh, 55 plus and he has written a book uh about 20 year 5 years back and he has not yet published it because fear was there and now in the current age we see like what supreet shared was like a 17 year young boy who is not even major he can't even like sign a contract and he has written a book and already published it society today like people some people are hidden they have their they hide themselves and their work as well like 25 years you are sitting on a book full fledged book and you are not publishing it that's really sad i think someone if someone like supreet would have got hold of him or i would have got hold of him i would have pushed him to get his book published so we need people like uh, uh, we need uh, to do something to introduce or to uh, put these people like to be people like supreet in limelight so that more and more people know we have like lot of other negative people negative publicity going around like negative people getting all the limelight so why not have 
uh, someone who is doing positive work like Supreet. Uh, Manish, uh, coming back to you, thank you for whatever uh, our writing. I really appreciate that. Uh, you say, uh, usually I have seen you taking interviews. Uh, uh, thank you, Manish. And what do you say? Uh, great, sir. Appreciate your work. Manish, uh, uh, I like to interview people and I invite you as well uh, to come and share your story. Like, I, I get, when I talk to people and I know, I, I can see people having value they can uh, give to the society, but they shy away. Like, I've approached a lot of people, uh, done a lot of hard work in approaching people, trying to bring them to the camera, please come and have an interview with me. And they would say, nahi, nahi, maine to abhi kuch khas life mein kiya nahi. it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, 17 year person yes. also can write a book. So Absolutely. it doesn't matter. You have, like uh, for me, each and each and every person is precious. And I, I would like to interview the, people. And yes. In fact, I completely agree with what you were saying, Kapil, sir, that I've seen people there. Uh, uh, they're very apprehensive to come on the screen and talk about their life because somewhere they feel that uh, uh, what will people think if I talk about my failures? And I have a yeah. friend also, uh, just Brar from London. He's, he's, he's settled in London. He's from uh, India. He's from Ludhiana. So he always tried to find out these kind of stuff. And uh, he's the one uh, who has been a very good friend of mine. And uh, we started writing together. He's also founder of uh, MotivationRipple.com. This is another website which is doing really well globally. So, uh, you know, he always tried to find out these kind of things. Just like you were saying that, you know, uh, you wanted people to be in the limelight who are doing well in the society. Now, as far as doing well in, is concerned, now there is no particular definition to it. Uh, if you are able to communicate with people in uh, the easiest way, I think the language is also a barrier. Some people use very tough language and they try to show off. Let's not show off. What is there to show off? Let's let's be more connected with people. I mean, there are people who are seeking your help. Uh, in India, you know, what is the problem? Problem is that nobody is ready to talk about his problem and he's limited to some resources. And in some families, I have seen myself that, you know, people want to come out and speak and do something for them. But they are not getting the ample support from their family as well. In fact, uh, one very interesting yeah. thing happened, couple, sir, I would like to share. It reminded me one guy on WhatsApp group, he was uh, following all the posts. He got so inspired. He's uh, he's pursuing uh, the examination for sub inspector in Uttar Pradesh police. And this guy texted me one fine day that, uh, sir, I am seeking your help. I said, for what? He said, I'm seeking for your help because uh, I am uh, very much addicted to porn. I watched I watch a lot of porn movies. How should I get out of it? And, and I realized, yes, this is a very common problem uh, amongst the youngsters, especially. In fact, uh, you know, I have seen a lot of students who are, uh, you know, part of dissipation and they really struggle to come out of it. So uh, I suggested a few tips to this guy. And uh, after some days, he messaged me. He said, sir, I'm feeling better now. And I'm uh, thankful to you to what we have suggested. Because somebody at your age uh, talking to me, guiding me without any personal benefit. You know, it really means to me a lot. And I'm really motivated now. So thank you very much for this. And that day I realized that, you know, a small discussion, a small talk with people around you can really help you also rejuvenate and uh, discover yourself. Apart from that, you're helping people. You're helping the community. And uh, the, the more people know you, the more better it will be for you as a person. And automatically, you know, the people will start knowing you if you are a fame lover. But more importantly, you know, it, it, it uh, entirely depends on your objective. Like in my objective is very simple. I want to help as many people as I can because I myself have seen so many bad times. I always try to help people wherever I try and find out if there is a problem. I try to help them. And, and that's what I'm doing right now. Exactly. Because, uh, you know, working in a private job, doing a lot of things is a very, very difficult task. Thank you, uh, Supreet, like uh, bringing these issues uh, 
like uh, the one thing which is missing at least society and that too with men i think i have seen it more uh, that uh, they really hide things uh, our society is in the mode of hiding things rather than seeking out help and which shows everywhere in our society like people don't uh, go out and try to reach out to help and then the, the other part is also like uh, when a person tries to reach out for help in our society uh, we really uh, are not trained to help people like we shun away from helping people that's another thing I, I, sorry for saying that maybe you agree or not but when uh, someone uh, meets with an accident in road i have seen people making videos rather than helping them like uh, shooting uh, videos from cell phones rather helping on the street so i'm not sure on that like that's a larger issue uh, i am too small to discuss that i am discussing with supreet around back to my topic is i i we you are most important person right now and i am talking to you exploring with you Uh, that also when i interview people i'm sharing my part it really gives me a great joy uh, so thank you uh, for being my guest and any guest who comes he is important as you are and talking to each other uh, that is what i say we talk to each other and we spread uh, this message of positivity and sharing our network with other people uh, this uh, it adds value to your network and yes people around you so that's what i am doing in fact sir i wanted to add on what you uh, said thank you very much uh i wanted to add on something on uh, the kind of uh, things which i have done in my life and it would really help lot of people here watching this interview and uh, watching this life changing uh, uh interview from your end uh, you have been impacting lot of lives i have seen lot of interviews on your wall and i can say that you are doing a commendable job Uh, it's not easy to uh, you know follow your passion so i really respect people who are following their passion and you are certainly one of them or you appear to be one of them because you know doing these things uh, you know after your work hours is something you require a lot of passion so i can sense that yeah. you, know, you also have a lot of passion at this age so i really respect you a lot for that now i want to uh, i think yeah yeah go ahead go ahead sorry sorry go ahead please so uh, i want to uh, yeah so i wanted to uh, tell you something about how uh, you know i have been following things first of all i would like to tell all my viewers that they should start reading the more you read the more you are inclined towards a particular subject the the kind of person you will start becoming i i took an example of my body transformation i started liking relevant pages of fitness i started watching youtube videos i started reading lot of blogs so this really has impacted my brain and uh, it really changed my understanding about fitness and today uh, you know i know lot of things about dieting bodybuilding techniques etc now uh, you know that really impacts you on you as a person a lot secondly whenever you read you are reading the journey about the person's life so try and explore one topic in fact you know i really like uh, what jim ron says he says that uh, if you don't know about any topic start reading and once you read about the topic start applying for example if you are uh, willing to have success in your life start reading about success read as much books as you can on success and once you read all the books start applying that success tips those success stories in your life because many times you don't have to reinvent the wheel people have done it in the past and uh, you know it, that's about success and if you want to have body transformation start reading about body transformation read some books then start applying it so the the difference between reading and applying is your mindset uh, i have been using lot of techniques i use gratitude technique i use uh, affirmations technique in fact uh, uh, last year i got hospitalized and uh, my wife shot one video i was not aware i was not in my senses 
so he, he, she you know she recorded one video from my mobile she said that uh, when you were having anesthesia when you came out operated from uh, outside from the operation theater you were speaking something i said what i was not even in my senses how can you talk like this to me she said no you are speaking something i have recorded the video and couple sir when i saw that video i was amazed i was talking like you know a very different person and i was having those informations repeating after repeating nothing can happen to me i am born to do something big i am here to uh, motivate people you know stuff like that it was all here in my subconscious and that really gave me a lot of power really gave me a lot of power and i realized that this is the power of subconscious mind this is the power of affirmations it can change your life i have been doing a lot of affirmations i have changed my mind completely by following these simple tips so my dear viewers on this show i wanted to request you that if you want to follow something if you want to change your thought process start believing in yourself start following something which you really look forward to and more importantly if you are not familiar with what you are going to do but you are somewhere inside sure that i'm going to achieve this one day so better you start believing right now that it's already with you start visualizing so i these kind of things really help me a lot and uh, i will be talking more on this in my upcoming book as well and uh, i'll be taking a lot of sessions also on this and i take a lot of trainings also on this that's great uh, supreet you bring this topic of uh, uh, subconscious mind as well uh, uh, i didn't want it to go that deep because i want to have a special session with you or talking about uh, uh, deep things but i would like to say one thing yes uh, what you have by your own experience is that your subconscious mind is really very strong and it is programmable and as you program you can see not only you can see it in the unconscious mind actually brings that projection and your wife has recorded that so that's a wonderful thing to understand the subconscious mind our uh, uh, i wouldn't say religion but our culture knows that when it says hum brahmasmi aham brahmasmi means i am the brahma that doesn't mean i am the brahma because i am uh, not <laughs> talking about that brahma brahma vishnu mahesh the brahma here i say is that the i am the creator of my own world so whatever world i decide i create that so yes. by my subconscious mind if i can program it i can do whatever i want but that and is always, not always stay in gratitude always stay in gratitude you know Uh, gratitude gratitude is one of the biggest power in this world the more you are in gratitude the more you accept yourself your life you will start believing in yourself automatically you will start loving yourself it's all about loving yourself love wins it's all about doing that, that that's my tag which i use love wins i have been using it uh, in a lot of my writings you know love wins is all about loving yourself start loving yourself start accepting yourself start paying gratitude for what you have rather what you do not have because what you do not have right now if you achieve it one day then your uh, greed will never stop so and uh, yeah. and apart from that uh, i wanted to share one more incident because i'm sure that we are uh, very near to wind up the session we are near for the time also i'm yeah. sure you are also counting the yeah. clock so uh, today i was having a discussion with one of my friend and uh, he's struggling for public speaking and i said and he saw my latest video on motivation sparkles facebook community and he said that uh, supreet i am seeking your help to, uh, for public speaking tips i said why not uh, whatever way i can help you and i started describing him uh, in one of the examples i said uh, i do bodybuilding now just imagine uh, you know you are in the gym and you are bodybuilding <laughs> and uh, can you imagine uh, making your muscles by doing one or two reps he said no i said what do you have to do he said i have to do lot of sets i i said what is that he said it's uh, five sets or 10 sets then it depends on your power i said exactly my friend 
you have to do repetition do you agree he said yes so if you do not do repetition of sets for any body part you won't be able to build up muscles i said do you agree he said yes i agree i said the similar way if you will not started speaking in front of the world how will you overcome the fear of public speaking you have to repeat 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 the repetition process is the key to success it applies everywhere it applies to you the first time when you started driving the car it applies everywhere when you started giving interview you gave 10 15 20 inter interviews and suddenly you created a comfort level for yourself and it it applies to public speaking as well i said the best way of overcoming public speaking number 1 start filling your well he said what is well i said well is your knowledge he said how will i fill up my well then i said start reading he said what is the second thing i said second thing is start applying immediately whatever you read start sharing with lot of people if it's a small facebook live session do that he said i am not a good speaker i said so am i but what matters is your confidence what matters is your belief in yourself and uh, you know after this discussion uh, then he texts me that you know i am feeling so relieved uh, with this conversation i will definitely follow these tips so i think uh, it's more important uh, to understand one thing here that uh, uh, we have not learned in the mother's womb anything we came out in this world and uh, we have learned lot of things it is all about practice and repetition and focus if you are determined uh, your will power will also uh, increase stagnantly and more importantly whatever you wish to do if it's your passion you going to do it for sure and if it's not done by a profession as mark english mark english is one of the mountaineers uh, who said that if it's not done by a profession uh, your passion then make sure that you're going to deliver it by your obsession so if passion is not working do it with obsession and that's the best way to achieve goals in your life thank you uh, let me uh, share this with you uh, as a closing remark uh, what you said as repetition is key to success actually uh, when i in my course is in nlp neuro linguistic programming uh, i got this as a clear message in my life repetition is key to success like my subconscious mind you know, yes. like the fill force okay you need to repeat things to be comfortable with that like because i I, 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 my problem is like I do lot of stuff, but then I don't repeat them much, which I realized even in uh, today evening as well. Like I, I uh, sometimes don't repeat myself or don't apply things as I should have been doing. Uh, but we are coming to the close of this session. Uh, before I ask you for uh, closing uh, remark, I would like to thank uh, uh, my audience who have joined and. especially uh, people ajay chandra uh, he wanted to speak me tomorrow uh, he wants to speak me please do call me uh, whenever you are uh, free uh, mukesh batnagar ji thank you uh, for your comments sorry i couldn't uh, read them all of them uh, so i really want to thank you mukesh batnagar jamna ji manish sharma uh, thank you for your comments and whoever i am actually inviting all of them like uh, punit tiwari and whoever is there watching like if uh, are interested i would like to interview with with you i like because i know a lot of these people on facebook uh, some i know properly so i am not looking for a celebrity uh, to interview i am looking for someone who is known to me he could be anyone because i have interviewed a person uh, like i wouldn't call it person a kid of 9 year old so just wow. a 9 year old and he awesome. taught me as well on the interview so i have interviewed even that, that. so i'm not it, it really talks about not, you also it really talks about you also as a person that you are ready to learn from a kid of 9 year or uh, 9 years of age yeah. and i am amazed to have uh, this information with you just i'm really i, I was really surprised yes, I, No, no. Like I have interviewed, and he is from Pakistan, not from even from India. Like uh, 
he's from Pakistan. I interviewed and he taught me uh, what a nine year code is like. He is a YouTuber. Like I am, I am still not a YouTuber. I can't call myself a YouTuber, but he's a YouTuber. Wow. So that's really. And I want to add something which uh, you just said. I want to add something which you just said very quickly because I know timelines yeah. are very important. Uh, you just said that we are not celebrities. Uh, you are, we are, we will be dealing with a lot of common people. I want to tell you, sir, Shahrukh Khan, Mr. Shahrukh Khan, Mr. Sachin Tendulkar, you know, uh, Mr. Steve Jobs, they all were common people. They all were nothing when they started. It is all their zeal. It is all about their passion, about their life. They all started from zero. They have seen a lot of struggles. They have seen a lot of hardship, a lot of sadness in their life. And they keep on working on what they wanted to achieve in their life. If it's fame, they have worked towards it. If it's money, they have worked towards it. If it's excellence, they have worked towards it. If it's success, they have worked towards it. My point is, please don't be afraid to be great. If you want to start from zero, start from zero because this zero should no longer remain in your life. If you want to do something, do it with passion, determination, hard work. A lot of people say smart work is the key. No friends. Hard work is the key. Hard, smart work is always the part of hard work. If you don't believe in doing working hard, you cannot come to smart work. You have to work hard. You have to be smart while working hard. That's the uh, you know change in that statement. So with for add this uh, like these inspirational words today and there is one inspirational word from Mr. Mukesh Bhatnagar. He says for you a legend is in the making. Thank you for oh, joining us today and much. all my audience. Keep your blessings. Thank with you. you all. Satya Kaal thank and you. thank you. Uh, thank you for having me here. So thank Thank you. Uh, uh, just wait for me. Uh, uh, just don't go away, but I'll just close this broadcast while thank uh, uh, viewers. Uh, viewers, thank you, uh, people who joined us today. I'll come with another guest. Uh, so this is the Avla and Supreet Arora today. Thank you all for joining us.